They have just one hour to cook a two-course meal of their own design. Only one will win a place in the quarter-final. After a successful round in the pro kitchen, Andy has decided to prove his culinary skill with a Thai menu. You're cooking Thai, Andy? I am. One of John's favourite cuisines. That doesn't scare you? Maybe slightly, but uh, hopefully um, he'll enjoy it and it'll, it'll go down well. Are you doing this style because this is the style you really, really love? It's one of the cuisines I'm passionate about, so I think that's a great place to start. Thai cuisine, quite excited about it, but unless it's done properly, it's bland. That's going to be a big problem today, I think. Guys, listen up. You have ten minutes. Dowie is hoping his dishes will demonstrate his ability to combine flavours, but nerves are getting the better of him. Dowie, I've got to say right now, you're looking a bit pained. Mm, yeah. This is a bit doughy. It's a bit sticky at the moment, I think. What are you making for us? For our... Ravioli of mussels, sun-dried tomatoes and anchovies. Very strong flavours. Yeah. Do you think right now is probably not the best time for us to be talking to you? Yeah. <laughs> Dowie's menu, really. I think that's fantastic. But... We've seen contestants talk up their menus before. It's in the execution. Three minutes, guys. Time is up. Dowie's dreams of a quarter-final place are resting on a mussel and anchovy ravioli followed by rack of lamb in a wild garlic sauce. Your pasta's really thick and it's quite hard to chew, but the flavours are really good. Dowie! What did you do with this pasta? Because that's a restaurant dish, you get that right. I think you've cooked your lamb beautifully. There are glimpses of a very, very good cook fighting to get out there, Dowie. I think it's OK. I think it looks a lot better than what it delivers. And it looks great. Can Mary show cooking and presentation skill with rabbit in cider and tarragon sauce, followed by a rhubarb and ginger fool with polenta shortbread? I think the basis of this dish is actually very good. I think it'd be worthy of a restaurant table, and I think you've just got to get a lot more flavour in there. This is like real cooking from the heart, and I, I kind of don't want to... <laughs> I kind of don't want to change you. But with a cookery competition, you... You've... I have got to learn to refine it. I mean, I have... And actually, to be fair, I've worked on that. This presentation is after you've worked at it. Where do you do it at home? In a bucket? No. I am slightly frightened of it. It looks like something out of Shrek. Like Greg, I do not want you to change your style of cooking. But if you want to go any further in this competition, Mary... Definitely my presentation has to improve. I am aware of that. You've got to. Mary, you cook. It just would not take very much. Having scraped through the first round, Andy is now trying to impress with Thai pork cakes and a dipping sauce, followed by grilled sea bass in a coconut broth. It doesn't pick me up and give me a great big kiss, but I can't knock it. I can't, I can't criticise it. It's without error. It's such a lovely, clean flavour that's going with it. It's not fatty, it's not greasy. They come out really nicely, and I think you've done it really well. Let's move on from your starter. Well, that kisses me. No, I think that's rather lovely. The broth, it needs something else to bring it up to make it alive, because that fish is delicious. I'm really excited that you've done what you've done today so well, considering where you were yesterday. <laughs> 